This video contains footage of lasers, which cause flashing lights which may not be suitable for viewers with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we are taking a look at the CR Laser Falcon 10 Watt Laser Engraver from Creality. That's right, the same Creality, known for their 3D printers, have released a new line of laser engravers. Early in 2022, they released the 5 Watt CR Laser Falcon, and now they have released the upgraded 10 Watt version. So, how does this 10 Watt laser engraver perform? Let's find out. Before we begin, this CR Laser Falcon was sent to me for review by Creality. I am not being paid for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this laser for the last month. Let's get started. The CR Laser Falcon is a 10 watt blue laser diode engraver and cutter. It uses a 455 nanometer blue laser, which is suitable for a variety of materials. It is a benchtop engraver with a working area of 400 millimeters by 415 millimeters. The laser module houses two laser diodes, which are combined with lenses to form the final 10 watt beam. They say it can cut 12 millimeter or one half inch wood in a single pass. I don't have any half inch ply on hand, but it was able to cut one quarter inch birch plywood with no problems. An internal fan blows air down through the module, acting to both cool the diodes and blow away smoke from the lens. The protective cover is magnetically attached to the laser module, which makes it very easy to remove to clean the cover or the lens. The inside of the cover is funnel shaped, which forces the air from the fan to speed up and prevents soot from being able to collect on the lens. The cover is also easy to clean, simply wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. The internal edges are even rounded to allow a cotton swab to easily fit. Then just let the magnets reattach the cover. The laser module is held onto the gantry with two thumb screws. Focus adjustment is done by placing the focusing guide on the material to cut, then loosen the screws and slide the laser module down until it rests on the focusing guide. Then tighten the screws and you're ready to cut. The gantry moves using belt-driven stepper motors, riding on rubber V-slot wheels in the aluminum extrusion. The frame has measurement scales on the axes to help position the material, and it also has a built-in bubble level to help gauge how flat the work surface is. The frame is supported by feet on the four corners. I appreciate the rubber coating on the bottom of the feet. It is very grippy. The sides of the frame are open, allowing you to slide in larger material. The front of the machine consists of the control box. It has a single light-up button on the front, used for offline engraving. Around the side is the power input, USB Type-C input, and a micro SD card slot. The USB Type-C allows the engraver to be controlled by a computer, using compatible software like Laser Gerbil or Lightbird. The SD card allows for the CR Laser Falcon to cut or engrave without needing a computer, and it is also used for firmware upgrades. Offline cutting works by saving a G-code file to the SD card. When placed into the machine and turned on, the laser enters standby mode. Pressing the button causes the laser to frame the boundaries of the shape to be cut, so you can position your material. Pressing the button again will start the cut. After finishing, it'll rehome and enter standby mode again. The offline cutting can be useful in cases where you don't have access to a computer. However, it will only use the file on the SD card with the most recent last modified date. There is no way to select a different file from the laser itself. The control board is a 32-bit controller with near-silent stepper motor drivers. It also has a gyroscope built in, which will trigger an emergency stop in the case that the machine is tilted or dropped. Simply lifting the machine while cutting causes it to stop and sound an alarm. Unfortunately, the CR Laser Falcon does not include anything to protect your workbench. You'll want to pick up a thin sheet of steel or aluminum to protect your table while you cut. Assembly was easy. The CR Laser Falcon arrives in a pretty compact box. The X-axis was already assembled, so after unwrapping the rest of the frame, it only took tightening a few bolts to assemble the frame and add the legs. Then the Y-axis belts were added and tightened, and then assembly complete. It took about 30 minutes to assemble, and the instructions were easy to follow. As mentioned before, Creality provides a copy of Laser Gerbil and a trial version of Lightburn to control the laser. They provide configuration files for both, as well as a PDF reference for speeds and powers of common materials. I wish their instructions included warnings of what materials should not be used. There is no mention of dangerous materials like PVC that should not be cut in the engraver. First time laser buyers should be warned to only cut materials they know are laser safe. So I tested out a variety of materials on the CR Laser Falcon. I already had a license for the software Lightburn, so I used that for all my following tests. First up, woods. 1 8 inch or roughly 3 mm birch plywood is one of my standard crafting materials, and it cuts and engraves nicely. 
This living hinge was cut at 350 millimeters a minute at 100% power and it cut clean through. Only one or two spots didn't fully cut, but this is one of the best first results that I've had with a living hinge. Engraving also works well. I engraved a handful of photos of my dog Jack, varying the speed and max power settings. I finalized with a speed of 8,000 millimeters a minute with a max power of 80%. That seemed to be a good balance of speed and contrast. You might have noticed a defect or two of these photos. I'll circle back to that a little later in the video. Creality says that the laser focal spot is only 0.06 millimeters in diameter. That small kerf allows for highly detailed cuts. My first attempt at this wood-themed candle lantern failed though. I had the wood placed directly on the aluminum sheet protecting my table, and that sheet started to warp. That pushed the wood up and out of the focus spot of the laser. I then tried again, raising the wood over the sheets. Since the laser remained focused, it cut extremely well. The branches of the trees are very thin and delicate. A few of these branches broke while pushing out the cut pieces, but overall I am impressed with the detail it could achieve. Dark slate coasters are a favorite for diode lasers. I was happy with how they turned out on the CR Laser Falcon. It had no issues with the bitmap image of the geometric background, and the edges of the text are nice and crisp. Moving on to acrylics. Since diode lasers use visible light, it cannot cut optically clear materials like clear acrylic. However, opaque acrylics like this black acrylic sheet work great. It cut this 1 8 inch acrylic in two passes at 120 millimeters a minute, and the engravings are crisp. Leather also works great on the CR Laser Falcon. At only 20% power, this raw leather bracelet is beautiful. I should have spent a little bit more time censoring the design, but that is user error, not the machine's fault. The CR Laser Falcon can etch directly onto stainless steel. One pass at 500 millimeters a minute leaves a very dark engraving on the stainless steel business card. However, the steel quickly heats up and can cause warping of the material. You may have to spend some time dialing in the settings to make sure the steel has enough time to cool before warping. This stainless steel pendant turned out beautiful. I can see the CR Laser Falcon being great for custom jewelry. Finally, let's check out anodized aluminum. I picked up these anodized aluminum business cards. We can burn away the oxide layer, revealing the aluminum underneath. I found my best results running at 500 millimeters a minute at 100% power with a 0.05 millimeter line interval. This gives a sharp engraving without overheating the material and causing warping. Any slower will cause deformations. You'll also want to tape down the light aluminum as the fan in the laser module is powerful enough to blow the card around. It gives a fun effect though, right? During my testing, I experienced one main issue. The first thing that I noticed was that my Y-axis was losing steps after engraving a photo. I would engrave my test photos, but then when I cut out the border of the photo, I noticed that there was a couple of millimeters of raw wood on one edge. I set up a quick test file that would engrave a few lines, then move the laser like it was engraving a tall photo, then move back down and engrave another set of lines. Those lines should be horizontal to each other, but you can see that they drifted down a few millimeters. At first, I thought it was belt tension related, but that didn't fix it. The actual issue turned out to be a bug in their July 2022 version of the firmware. After downloading the latest August 2022 version, that fixed the drifting entirely. The test lines were horizontal and no missed steps were happening. It's good to see that they are releasing firmware with fixes, but I am disappointed to see such a bad bug being shipped with the laser. Not every user will know that their laser needs an update. Creality's experience with budget-friendly 3D printers has certainly helped them with the design of their laser cutter. The CR Laser Falcon is a powerful laser engraver which produces high-quality engravings and accurate cuts. From the ease of assembly to the ease of operation, it has a low learning curve. The one-button operation is handy for engraving without needing a computer nearby, and the safety features like auto-stopping when it detects the frame has moved is nice to see. The CR Laser Falcon 10 watt version is priced at 519 US dollars. It is very competitively priced with other 10 watt laser engravers. I think that the CR Laser Falcon would be a good choice for users that need the power of a 10 watt laser or where faster engraving time is important. So thank you all for watching my review of the Creality CR Laser Falcon laser engraver. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And if you are in the market for a laser cutter, check out my other laser cutter reviews also linked below and be sure to subscribe to check out my upcoming reviews. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.